Hi, Dr. Heather Rogers here. Today we're going to talk about some very confusing topics in skincare, and that is peptides, growth factors, stem cells, and stem cell extract. So as many of you know, I'm all about keeping things simple and effective. And there are a number of skincare products that you have to use, but nowhere near as many as people think they need to use. To summarize, skincare products you should be using on a regular basis. If your skin is healthy and happy, and that is in the morning, a vitamin C or antioxidant serum, followed by a good moisturizer, followed by a zinc-based sunscreen with at least 10% zinc, then you go about your day, at night you have to wash your face, then you get to put on some sort of treatment to help promote cell turnover, and that can be a retinol, it can be a glycolic acid, but something just to keep your skin in shape. You follow that with a thick moisturizer and you go to bed. Those are your key core basics. The second your skin gets irritated, you stop the vitamin C or the antioxidant because that's an acid that can irritate your skin and you stop the turnover step at night, which is the glycolic acid or the tretinoin. And you just go back to the basics, which is a good moisturizer, zinc-based sunscreen, and washing your face. Now we just went through the Dr. Rogers Restore Reset and I saw a whole bunch of awesome pictures of people looking the best with beautiful skin. We're now adding back your vitamin C serum, we're adding back our nighttime Retin-A or Tretinoin. And once you're doing that, you really are good to go. For those of us who are overachievers and have money to spend, this is where growth factors, peptides, and stem cell extract can play a role. These products all cost over you know, $200, they're not cheap, but they have data behind them to show that they do help your skin combat aging in a way different than the other products I sort of talked about so far. So what is a peptide? So a peptide is a group of amino acids that when is well formulated, can signal your skin to do something. So it's like a little messenger that binds to a receptor in your skin and activates a pathway, preferably of good stuff to happen for your skin. The first product that had signaling peptides in it was actually the TNS, TNS Essential Serum that came out about 20 years ago. And that signaling, those markers actually came from human cells, human fetal cells from circumcision. So these are little boy penis cells that have been divided and have been growing. And that sort of media or the liquid that the cells have been growing in, they have been taking off, harvesting, sterilizing, putting in a cream and selling it to women and men who want to slow the aging process. The thing is, is that they did do their data and that cream does work. It helps with your skin radiance, fine lines, brown spots. It's exceedingly expensive, but it works. And that really stimulated the whole beauty industry to look into other growth factor peptide options. Since that's come out, there's a whole bunch out there. Neocutis has one, Sente has a couple, um, Isden has some, Elastin has some. And so this is a product that is readily available. Because it's expensive, I don't want you to buy one and start using one unless you really have seen significant before and afters on their website online. I sell a couple of them in my um, office and I actually do use them myself. So fundamentally, peptides are a common name for signaling um, chemicals or amino acids. Growth factors are a type of peptides. And then the whole concept of stem cells and stem cell extract. Stem cell extract are also just peptides, just little molecules that signal your skin. The tricky thing is also in the last five years, plant stem cells have become incredibly popular in skincare. Now plant stem cells do nothing for us. Do not spend your money on plant stem cells. Plant stem cells and human stem cells can't talk to each other. They don't do anything for each other. They're different species. A plant stem cell is just a way to hold water in our face cream. It's like a humectant. It doesn't have any special skill set. But more recently, we have found that the extract that plant stem cells grow in, like an apple stem cell, that can also grow in that petri dish with a bunch of fluid and liquid. That good stuff, just like the fetal skin, does have peptides in it that can um, um, excuse me, signal our skin cells 
to do something that we want, meaning help cells turn over and look more youthful. So if you have the money and you're looking to add yet another step to your skincare regimen and you're already using good sunscreen, a good antioxidant, and a good nighttime turnover product like Retin-A or glycolic acid, then yes, you can add in one of these products. The one I use most commonly is the Sente Dermal Repair Cream. This has one peptide in particular. It's called heparin sulfate, and it is a mama peptide that really sort of calms the skin, fights inflammation, and I have really sensitive skin, and I have found it made my skin a little bit more resilient. So this is one I use at night. I wash my face, I put on my Retin-A or my Tretinoin or my glycolic acid, then I follow it with my dermal repair cream by Sente, and then I follow it with my Dr. Rogers Restore face cream. It's really gentle, I can use it around my eyes, I'm a big fan of it. After I do a big lasering procedure on a patient, I recommend that they use the Elastin Skin Nectar. This product has been studied in post-procedure skin and has been shown to help the skin heal a little bit faster. So if I were to CO2 laser you, I would tell you to wash your face with my Dr. Rogers face wash, use this, follow that with my Dr. Rogers healing balm or my face cream, depending on how dry your skin are, and that's gonna help speed the healing. And if you're going outside, you have to put zinc face sunscreen on. Um, the new one that just was launched by ISDIN is this one, which is the apple stem cell extract with hyaluronic acid. Now, if you see something that has plant stem cells in it or apple stem cells, that's not going to do anything for you. But this product has the extract in it, and it also has studies to support it helps fight some of the signs of aging. So I hope that made this a little bit less confusing. Take home point is that for me, I don't want people spending their money on peptides, growth factors, stem cell extract until they have the rest of their skincare regimen all dialed in with an antioxidant, good zinc-based sunscreen, and a good nighttime turnover treatment. If you have all of those things and you want extra credit, that's where these products come into play. They're exceedingly expensive, so pick one, try it out, really give it six to eight weeks before you say whether or not it works for you and before you buy more. Because for some people, I think the results are a little bit more predictable than they are for other people. And anytime you use a new product, you always increase the risk of irritating your skin. So you wanna start things carefully and selectively. Let me know if you have any questions.